Why might the Reserve Bank of India, or RBI, impose restrictions on a payments bank like Paytem? A thought-provoking question indeed. As of our last update in April 2023, the Reserve Bank of India had placed several restrictions on Paytem Payments Bank. The reasons for these restrictions primarily revolved around concerns over the bank's compliance with regulatory requirements, particularly those related to Know Your Customer norms and other operational guidelines. Firstly, non-compliance with KYC norms is one of the primary reasons for regulatory action against financial institutions, including payments banks. KYC procedures are crucial for preventing money laundering, terrorist financing, and fraudulent activities. If a bank fails to strictly adhere to these norms, it may face restrictions from the regulator. Secondly, operational concerns could also trigger regulatory actions. The RBI may identify issues with the bank's operational practices that could pose risk to the banking system or to the bank's customers. These issues can include problems with how customer grievances are handled, failures in data security, or inadequate financial or operational resilience. Thirdly, issues related to the bank's governance structures or management practices can lead to regulatory actions. These can involve concerns over the bank's internal controls, risk management practices, or the suitability of its key managerial personnel. Another significant reason is protecting consumer interests. The RBI is mandated to protect the interests of consumers. If there are significant concerns about the safety of customers' funds, the integrity of transaction processes, or the transparency of fees and charges, the RBI may step in to impose restrictions. The RBI is also tasked with ensuring the stability of the financial system. If a payments bank's operations are deemed to pose a systemic risk, or if there are concerns about its financial health, regulatory actions may be necessary. Lastly, often, the RBI conducts regular audits of financial institutions. Adverse findings in these audits, especially those that suggest a lack of compliance with regulatory requirements or other serious deficiencies, can lead to restrictions. In response to such regulatory actions, the affected bank typically works closely with the regulator to address the identified issues and implement corrective measures. This process may involve enhancing internal controls, revising operational practices, or making changes to governance and management structures. Once the RBI is satisfied that the bank has adequately addressed the concerns, the restrictions may be lifted. To sum up, the reasons for the RBI's restrictions on Payton Payments Bank can be categorized into non-compliance with KYC norms, operational concerns, issues related to the bank's governance and management, protecting consumer interests, financial stability, and adverse audit findings. For the most current information regarding Paytem Payments Bank and any actions taken by the RBI, it's advisable to consult the latest official communications from both the RBI and Paytem Payments Bank. It's always fascinating to delve into the intricacies of banking regulations and their implications. As the world of finance continues to evolve, so does the need for stringent oversight and regulation.